What's up, guys? How does it feel? Uh, pretty, pretty good. I mean, it's a surreal feeling for sure, and something I'm gonna re remember for the rest of my life. What was it like to go number three? You looked pretty surprised. Yeah, obviously. So you have the uh, the interviews a couple days before in Vegas. Um, I mean, the the Thursday and Friday, I met with a couple teams, and and I wasn't one of them, so I didn't I didn't think this was kind of an option for me. And then to hear my kind of name called by them, it was definitely shocking. You checked your phone because you're already a P. Obviously, Yeah, no, I haven't checked my phone, but. Uh, they told me to leave that up with my parents, so I guess I'm, when I open it, I'm going to be treated to something for sure. <laughs> what was your reaction inside? Um, I mean, you hear the from Oshawa, so I heard that before my name, and it was just kind of butterflies and chills, kind of. So, um, but yeah, now it's just excitement and happiness, I guess. Where did you think you would go? Um, well, I mean, I went third, so I mean, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's where I went. I'm not going to speculate on where I thought. But. Now that you've had a couple of minutes to think about it, Anaheim has a lot of really exciting young forwards, a lot of big guys. How do you think you would fit in there in a couple of years? Yeah, I mean, they're obviously drafting big, and I think I fit into that role, and they want skill, they want physicality, and um, I'm going to bring that to their team. So whenever I'm ready, whenever they think I'm ready, I'm going to try and do the best, that to the best that I can. You've already had a big growth spurt, but do you think you're done growing or are you getting, getting uh, bigger? I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, I don't know what the future holds, but um, the last kind of two years has been quite the growth spurt and has affected my balance a little bit. But um, I don't know. I'm not going to complain if I grow more. If I don't, I think it's enough. So um, we'll see. When you look at the sphere, like when you watch the first two picks, what were you looking at? And when your name is called, were you able to look forward? Yeah, I mean, the, the technology is just pretty advanced in here. Obviously, it costs, I think, what, two and a half billion dollars to build, so they better have some good technology. Um, but yeah, I, honestly, looking back on it, I don't really remember much. It was kind of just blacked out, I guess. So uh, I can't really tell you what I was looking at. With whoever you were sitting with, Becca, it looked like on TV you said, you mouth, oh my God. Who did you lean over? What did you say immediately to, to your family? Uh, to my dad, I just said, oh, my God, oh, my God. And then to my mom, I said, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> and then I saw my mom and my sister, and they all started crying. So, yeah, pretty emotional, too. Who are you thankful for in a time like this? Parents, family, coaches? I mean, everyone comes to mind, as you said. Parents, for sure. Family, uh, sister. Um, coaches, I mean, all the coaching staff that I've had throughout the years. Um, I could probably tell you 200 names right now, but um, yeah, there's obviously people that have helped me a lot more than others, and some that have, I mean, even the people like the Zamboni drivers play a part. Everyone plays their own part in kind of getting this player to here, but um, yeah, I mean, I'm th so thankful for kind of everyone. So. What do the Oshawa Generals mean to getting you to this moment, developing you as a player? Uh, I mean, I think. Uh, I, the OHL draft is something that you can kind of control a little bit more. Obviously, you kind of kind of knew where I was going. I think a week or two before, um, but this this draft is something that I didn't obviously expect. As, a, as you saw by my face, I was pretty shocked. But I mean, Oshawa means the world to me. They've kind of developed me and created me into the player I've get, I am today, and they got I think the best staff and best organization in the entire CHL. So uh, high praise. Anaheim having a high pick last year and getting Leo Carlson, who was a stud during the regular season, and now yourself. Like, what does that mean to you to be a part of this rebranding of the franchise, a proud franchise? I mean, you even got the old duck on your on your jersey, right? Yeah, I know. The new logo looks good too. So, um, but yeah, uh, the obviously they're in a rebuilding stage, and I'm excited to be a part of that. And um, as I said, whenever they think I'm ready, I'm going to hop in there and do my job to the best of my capabilities. Do you think your playoff run with Oshawa might have helped Anaheim's decision here? I think it. Uh, I think it was probably the driving factor. They're going to. They're gonna, they're gonna, they want someone that is going to sort of produce in the playoffs and show up when it matters most. And I think that's kind of when my season peaked. And I do think that I'm a playoff performer. So I, I think that definitely weighed on their decision. You knew you were going to be picked today, but can you just take us through the morning? You wake up, breakfast, sort of the, the drive over. Just take us through the morning and afternoon getting over here. Yeah, obviously woke up and had that uh, that breakfast this morning. Um, got all our tickets, came back to the hotel room. Um, then I had interviews all morning until around 1, and then I was just kind of hanging out with the, the other guys that are here on my team, Morelli and uh, 
Danford, and then Richie's obviously here too. So, um, yeah, just kind of hanging out with those guys. And then when they left, that's kind of when the nerves really started to set in, and you kind of realize that this is happening today. Uh, it came up really fast. I mean, I think you guys probably feel the same way too. So, um, and then walk in here, it's more nerves, more nerves, and then you're just kind of sitting there waiting, and um, yeah, and then your name's called, and your NHL draft year is over. So it's quite the experience. You said you hadn't talked to Anaheim in the last couple of days. Did you talk to them at the combine? Uh, if so, what? What did you come away with that? Yeah, I talked to him at the combine, but um, it wasn't anything uh, substantial, I would say. Um, but I mean, I think my agent, uh, when when I was called, I, I asked him. I was like, "Did you know?" And he was like, "Of course I knew," but he, he didn't tell me. So I think they were telling my uh, my agent a little more than they were telling me. So uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what, the, what it was behind the scenes. What did they say to you once you got set up on the stage and after? The they just said, congratulations. I think uh, I'm honestly can't even remember. So, um, but yeah, it's just a simple congratulations and face that way when you put your jersey on. So that's all I can remember from that. You mentioned a couple guys in Danford and Morelli. How nice has it been able to go through this entire process with fellows, Aya, and draft eligible Yeah, I think that's been a huge help to me. We, we've all kind of had each other to lean on and. Um, yeah, they're obviously great players as well, and um, I'm hoping to see them see them come up soon here. So, do you know? Do you think you've learned how to play your size yet? Since it's so sudden, like, have you fully learned how to take advantage of your new gifts? Um, I mean, I can't I can't say for sure, but I think my my puck protection. I even kind of notice it, and the summer skates that we're doing now is like I'm really getting comfortable to my like rangy like stick and. My, my reach and kind of using that to my advantage and really being able to kind of hold the puck in my pocket on both sides and um, yeah, the puck protection and then the skating is also something that I've kind of been working on a lot and I'm just really starting to feel kind of comfortable on my edges and then and, and fast. Like, so yeah, I think uh, it's going to take some time, but everyone kind of has their own development timeline and I'm, I'm just waiting to kind of keep going. Do you know anyone on, among the uh, Dogs organization that you can talk to? Do you, do you know anyone, a player, or someone in the organization? Um, I used to. Yeah, no, I. No, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think. No, no, I don't. But yeah, I guess I guess I'll get to know them. So. Yeah, for, for, those, for those who haven't seen you play, how would you describe your play style? I would say I'm a. Uh, Bigger, skilled forward who kind of likes to use his, his size and and deception and creativity to kind of create time and space for myself and my teammates. So um, I wouldn't say I'm a I'm a playmaker or a goal scorer. I think I'm equal parts. Um, so yeah, I think that describes myself. You talked about like the deception, creativity. Okay, where, where does that come from? Where, where, how do how do you develop that? As a kid, or, or what is it? Just kind of come natural. What is it? Is that the art? Um, I think it's definitely my puck handling ability. I think I've always kind of had that since I was a kid, but um, it's also I was obviously was a smaller player, kind of in minor midget, and that I kind of had to play a small person's game. And now, kind of growing, I'm able to still have those learning experiences from being a smaller kid. And so now I'm a small person's player in a big person's body. So I think that's kind of. Uh, my biggest attributes.